Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. And welcome to this educational presentation where today I want to talk to you about the safest way that I personally know to trade a down market. Now, we're currently in a down market, even though the market may bounce, I believe it's, it's doing right now. It still does not mean we are um, in some midst of some strong uptrend. It just means that we're having a bounce, but we're still in a down market. So you see, this is the problem why most traders have a difficult time because they don't know that you're in a down market. And usually by the time they find out, it's a little bit too late. For example, as we look at this older chart here in ILMN, most traders looking at this would say, well, I took those uh, candlestick courses, Steve, and this is a morning star pattern, very bullish. Uh, that guy who taught me in that $10,000 course says that you have to buy here because most likely it's going to be going much, much higher, okay? And then this happens, right? You see, this is the difficulty. You don't know that you're in a downward market. Therefore, you continue to buy or you hold on to a losing position. And so what you really need are two edges. And I'm going to share with you these two edges today. Now, the first edge is actually a strategy. And the strategy generated two signals right here. OK, now, obviously, one of them worked out very well, the one that was a sell. But the one that was a buy did not work out too well. So even though it has a high probability for success, this strategy, you still need a way to filter out some of the bad signals from the rest. And so your second edge is actually going to be a filter that confirms what the most likely high probability setups are. So the second edge actually did not confirm this buy signal. Therefore, you would never have taken it and only have taken the sell signal and been able to capture potentially upwards of 150 points. And while the market was moving lower, these two edges continued to generate and confirm and validate signals all the way down. So this is what I mean when I say this is the safest way I know to trade a down market. I currently use this in my own personal trading, and I strongly believe it will be able to help you in the current down market that we're experiencing. The good news is, is that these two edges are one click away on the PTS Primo charting platform. This isn't something you have to calculate on your own. This isn't something you have to, you know, uh, sit there and uh, count a bunch of numbers and, and look on your, uh, you know, calculator what this uh, specific edge is. It's one click away on the PTS Primo charting platform. This actually teaches you how to trade in these downward markets. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. I've been trading now for 45 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, on their floor for 16 years. And out of those years, I was a specialist. So hence, that's where we get the name Specialist Trading. Specialist is someone who made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So I made markets and crashes and straight up markets and straight down markets. And so I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. Now, there's one thing I've learned in my 45 years of trading, and it's this. Most traders are taught to take their signals or take their cue on what to do from someone or something else. I know I was when I first started trading. I was taught probably the same things you've been taught. You know, you have to listen to the earnings. You have to listen to the economic reports. You have to listen to the gurus on TV. All right. Remember, I say this oftentimes and I'll continue to say it. There is no consistency in doing that because the entire industry is based on that formula. And if this works so well, then why is it estimated that 85% of all traders fail? It's obvious that that does not work. The only thing I have seen that will sustain a trader in my 45 years of trading is what my mentors taught me, and that's when you make your own trading decisions. Now, most students are afraid to make their own trading decisions. They say, Steve, I didn't go to business school like you. Uh, I haven't been trading for 45 years. I don't have enough capital. I, I don't have enough experience. So, you know, I like to take my signals from some guru on TV. Well, trust me, I didn't go to, to business school. I, I did not uh, you know, uh, have uh, this ton of experience when I first started. I was taught the same things, but my mentors luckily turned my way of thinking around and taught me how to make my own decisions. And so this is what you'll see today. At Specialist Trading, we want to give you the basic formats, the basic uh, probability, uh, high probability uh, setups, but then we want you to determine how to trade it. And in our courses, we teach you multiple ways how to make your own decisions. You'll see that in today's educational class. Now, before we begin, once again, we're required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results using these two edges to trade in a downward market. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you 
will be repeated in the future. Also, since we are first and foremost an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, if you're still lacking in education, you'd like to get more from us, well, you can follow us on Twitter. I post anywhere from three to five different uh, uh, examples on a daily basis, anywhere from signals our strategies have generated to little bits of financial wisdom. So there's lots of great free education on a daily basis. There's our handle right there, at Specialist Trading Abbreviation. So please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now remember, our philosophy, our goal in teaching you is to put the power back in your hands. Remember, it doesn't do you any good if you think that I'm going to tell you what the market's going to do. Hey, is it bottomed out? Is it going to go straight up or is it going lower? Or uh, what's the best stock, Steve? What do you think I should buy? What's the best time frame to trade in? You see, we're all trained to ask questions like that. But that's really the thing that you have to decide. Everyone comes with different risk parameters. Everyone comes to the table with different requirements. So there's no way two traders should ever trade alike. So therefore, once again, we provide you with sound fundamental techniques that are basically a format. And then we have different options for you to enter, different options for exiting, different options for placing your stop. So ultimately two traders who are trading the same strategy at specialist trading can come up with entirely different results, okay? And that's the way it should be. No two traders should ever trade alike. So as a mentor, my goal is not to force feed you signals or trade for you, but it's to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge, okay? So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. Now, before we begin, once again, as you see in the chat box, if you open up the chat box, please remember to disable all cameras and microphones. This is a static PowerPoint presentation. We're not gonna be interactive over cameras or, or microphones. So please, if you have a question, wait till the end. I promise I will answer the questions at the end. You can go to the chat box and write them in or go to the uh, question and answer box. It makes no difference. And lastly, we are recording this. So if you have to leave early or having technical issues, don't worry. You can uh, watch this at your own leisure whenever you like. We will be sending out a link to this recording at the end of today's class. Okay. So if you have questions, once again, please wait till the end and you'll all receive a recording of this video. With that stated, let's begin today's educational presentation. And I want to start out with the theme of today, something I learned some 45 years ago and what has stayed with me. And when I really try to project and teach in all of my students is this, the market you're trading, and it doesn't matter what market, could be cryptos, could be currency bears, stocks, futures, makes no difference. But the market you're trading, regardless of time frame or direction, tells you just about everything you need to know. Now, this goes against everything we're trained, right, uh, in the beginning as traders. We're all tr uh, trained to believe that, well, no, the the not the market I'm trading, but some guy on TV uh, tells me everything I need to know, or some $10,000 system I pay for tells me everything I need to know, or uh, the, the time frame tells me everything I need to know. No, it's really not that. It's just the market, the chart in front of you tells you, I would venture to say upwards about 90 to 95% of everything you need to know. That's why we don't focus on any news events here at Specialist Trading. We don't focus on any economic indicators or earnings. In fact, I stopped looking at those things 43 years ago. So if I am not applying them to my own personal trading and I'm still here, I'm proof that you actually don't need them. Now, if you want to use them in your trading, by all means, go ahead. But they are in no way required in any of our methods of specialist trading. You see, those things only make your trading a lot more difficult and complicated. It's a lot simpler when you learn how to listen to the chart in front of you, the market you're trading tells you just about everything you need to know. So we're going to be talking about two safe edges to help you trade a down market. Because once again, we are currently in a down market. Could end today, could go down for another week, another month, another year. We don't know. But that's not our problem. Our, our issue as a trader is not to figure out how long something's going to go in a direction or why. We really don't care. Our job as a trader is just to simply listen to the market, find out what it wants to do, it wants to go up, it wants to go down, and then jump on board. That's it. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. And these two edges I'm going to be sharing with you today are really going to help you to find out what it wants to do. Okay, first edge is strategy number four. Now, this is the first strategy my mentors taught me some four decades ago I continue to use on a daily basis, all right? Let's give you some of the highlights of strategy number four. It's a pattern recognition strategy. So the bulk of the requirements are based on a pattern that we teach you. And this pattern repeats itself over and over again 
and it can be in any market or any time frame. So if you trade currency pairs, if you trade stocks, it makes no difference. You'll see this pattern over and over again. Most traders, once again, don't know that this pattern even exists. They're basically waiting for the earnings to come out or waiting for what some guy says after the close on TV. But this pattern is screaming most of the time what the market wants to do. Now, this was when I was first learning how to trade this on the floor. It was designed for traders looking to catch quick momentum. We would be in and out of this strategy in a matter of minutes, but we've devised ways to stay in for days, weeks, even months, if you'd like. Now, it only uses one indicator. I'm going to share with you what that is. I'll tell you right now, it's the 50 period moving average. The way we're going to apply it is this way. If price is above the 50, the overall trend is up. So if the overall trend is up, we're only going to be a buyer. We're only going to look for a buy pattern, okay? If price is below the 50, it's telling us the overall trend is down. If the overall trend is down, then we're looking for this pattern to generate a sell signal. That's it, okay? Trading is not difficult. It's the trader that makes it most difficult, okay? But it doesn't have to be. So you see how these things are telling us what the market wants to do. Not some earnings, not some uh, jobless claims, but the market's telling you what it wants to do. Let's show you some examples right now and show you how simple it is. Okay, here's an example in ANSS, all right? Most traders looking at this, myself included, before I learned this strategy or what my mentors taught me, would say, hey, Steve, this is in an uptrend. This is a classic uptrend sign. We're making higher highs, higher lows. But what we teach you at Specialist Trading is this. The first thing you do is apply the 50 period moving average. And now you have to ask yourself a question. And here it is. Where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? In fact, I would suggest writing that down and posting it on your computer screen. So you can ask yourself before you pull the trigger. You have to ask yourself before you pull the trigger, where is price in relation to it? Now, obviously, price is below. So what does this tell us? It tells us the overall trend is down. We're not in an uptrend. We're just rising in an overall downward market. And that we're only to be looking for selling opportunities because this is a higher probability setup as opposed to looking to buy. All right. Remember, this is why most traders fail in a down market because they don't know they're in a down market. So I'm going to share with you the safest way I know how to trade. Apply the 50 period moving average and then we apply strategy number four. We look for that pattern and here is a valid strategy number four sell signal. So where most traders were buying thinking that, well, Steve, we're in an uptrend. You could have been selling and potentially capturing 32 points in the next week or so. OK. Here's another example in the Swiss franc for all you currency pair traders, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, looks like we're in an uptrend and even more established is a bullish engulfing pattern, all right? Real bullish pattern. If you're a candlestick trader, this is what you look for. We're always taught that this is a high probability setup to go long, okay? So you're all excited. You want to buy the Swiss franc, but what is the first thing we teach you? apply the 50 period moving average. Once you apply it, then you ask yourself, where is price in relation to the 50 period simple moving average, right? Before you pull the trigger, I don't care if you're a long-term investor, I don't care if you trade tick charts, always have a 50 period moving average and you ask yourself, where is price? Obviously price is below. So therefore, I don't care about that bullish engulfing pattern. We want to look for selling opportunities. Now, since we're trading strategy four, strategy four generated a sell right here, okay? And then look what happened. In the next week or so, 170 pips to the downside, roughly uh, potentially $1,700 per unit, okay? Now, we know that nothing works 100% of the time. If you ever go to a webinar or go see someone speak and they say, this strategy or this system never fails, it's got 99.9% .9 uh, positive results, I would run because I've been trading for 45 years and even some of the best traders I know from the floor still lose. It, it, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. They still generate signals that are faulty. For example, here's an example, in, uh, an old example in six, SIX, okay? We're below the 50 period moving average. Strategy four generates a sell signal, and then look what happens. It goes higher. You say to yourself, wow, that didn't work out too well. I got stopped out. But then another signal is generated. So you say to yourself, okay, well, this one is the one that's going to work. So I'll sell this one. And sooner or later, you see that you're stopped out again. Now price is above the 50, so you don't want to be a seller. You are going to look for buying opportunities. 
you wait a few weeks and all of a sudden you have a couple of buy signals. Even though we open below, the main rule of the buy sell line is where price closes, if it closes either above or below. And so even though we dissected the 50 period moving average, both of these closes are above. So they're valid strategy for buy signals. So you say, okay, I want to make back all that money I lost. And look what happens. Okay, it turns into a large, large loss. So at this point, you want to call me up and punch me in the face and you want to ask for a refund because you say to yourself, hey, this stuff doesn't work. You know, I thought you promised me that this would work all the time. Well, no one ever promises anyone that in specialist trading. And we are aware that there will be losses from time to time and faulty signals. But this brings us to the second edge. So we want to ask the question, is there a way to filter out some of these bad signals? And the second edge helps us there because the second edge is the pet D, okay? This is our signal confirmation tool. What it does is it confirms the signals that whether you should be buying or selling by filtering out the bad ones from the good ones, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with the pet D, here's how it can really help. Now, if you look at this older chart in ATER, obviously we're in a downtrend, okay? And we some bad news or something came out here, a gap down. At this point, you say to yourself, wow, I should be holding on to this. I should get out of this. I bought it somewhere around 15 and it's just gone straight down. So I'm going to sell. And then this happens, right? Has that ever happened to anybody? Here's the beauty of the pet D. It's a color bar directional tool. What it does is it tells you the direction of the short term. You see the 50 period moving average tells you the overall trend or the longer term, whereas the pet D tells you the shorter term. And the way it does this is coloring the bars either red or green, red for a downtrend and green for an uptrend. So you see, we knew well in advance right here when we had consecutive red bars that it wanted to go lower. We didn't have to wait till it gapped down. And we knew well in advance with consecutive green bars, it wanted to go higher. We didn't have to wait till this big up day, okay? So this is what's going to help us confirm strategy number four, signals. And when we combine these two edges, we get what we called the dynamic duo. This is one of our most popular as well as powerful trading packages, a specialist trading and approach trader strategies. We have students trading this around the world in over 115 countries and in every state in the United States. And I personally trade this as well. Now, let me share with you the dynamic duo rules, okay? You're only gonna trade strategy number four buy signals that are colored green by the pet D. In other words, if you see a buy signal and there's a green up arrow below that bar, that bar above the green up arrow needs to be colored or outlined green, okay? That's your filter. That's the confirmation telling you okay to buy. Now, conversely, you're only gonna trade strategy number four, sell signals that are colored red by the pet D. So if you see a bar that has a red arrow above it, that bar needs to be colored or outlined red. That's the only time you can take that. When you apply these two things, this is what we mean by the safest way of trading in a downward market, because you have a high probability strategy in the form of strategy number four, and you have a filter, a high probability filter that's able to weed out some of the bad signals from the good ones, okay? And remember, everything I'm sharing with you right now is one click away on our platform, the PTS Primo Charting Platform, because we developed it to make trading simple so that it could teach you how to trade the dynamic duo. All right, so let's look at that example we looked at earlier in six. Okay, remember we had a total of four signals. So on our platform, even though we teach you what to look for, this is not a black box. Strategy number four, we teach you all the rules. We teach you what that pattern is. In order to check your work, what you would do is simply go in the green strategy tab here where all our strategies are, click on strategy number four, and in the drop down menu, click on signal arrows to check your work. Because let's say you see some signals here. And ultimately, you see them here. You see four signals. Now, obviously, none of them worked. These two sell signals didn't work. And then this two buy signals obviously didn't work. So, how could the pet D, the dynamic duo, have helped us? Well, we simply go once again to the green strategy tab, click on the pet D, and it automatically changes the colors. Now, remember, in order to sell, we need these bars below the arrows to be red. In order to buy, we need these bars above the arrows to be green. So let's see what happens. What color are these cell signals? They're both green. This was an up day, this was a down day, but they're still colored green. So obviously we're not gonna take those signals. And good thing we didn't, we would have lost some money. Now we have two buy signals. 
Now, what color are the bars above the buy arrows? They're both outlined red. Even though they're up days, they opened and closed higher, they're outlined red. This is just telling us that it's an up day in a down market. Similar to, let's say we're in the middle of winter, and this happens every so once in a while, in the middle of winter in December or January, all of a sudden you have a day where it's 80 degrees, right? So is that telling you that, wow, winter's over? In the middle of January, winter has ended. No, it's just an aberration saying that, yeah, this is just up for a couple of days and pretty soon we're gonna be right back down to 40, 50 degrees, right? It's the same way with this. You have a couple of up days, but they're, the pet D is so sensitive, it's telling you that don't get caught by this. They're both been colored red, so we don't wanna take them. And just like the weather, a week later, it's right back down. This is the safest way I know to trade a down market, have a high probability strategy and then have a filter to weed out the bad signals, okay? So let's look at some more examples, trading the dynamic duel in a down market, okay? Most of these happened within the last month. Let's look at Lulu. This was happening back in June, July before it had that big bounce to the upside. <clears throat> but currently most, uh, at this time, a month or so ago, most traders would say, well, yeah, we're going up, but you know what, Steve, that chat room I go to where this guy's never wrong, he says that this is just a pullback and that we've got to buy this, okay? So I'm going to buy it here. It's retraced 50%. That's the rule. If it comes back at least half, you got to buy it. So I'm going to buy this, okay? To see how my decisions are based on someone or something else, they're not based on really what the markets are doing. They're based on faulty information. You know, I've traded support and resistance. I've traded before with, uh, with uh, uh, what's it called, Fibonacci retracements. And trust me, there's not a lot of consistency in that. I couldn't make any money figuring out exactly where these levels were, and it's just too complicated. What's the easiest way to figure out what the market wants to do? Apply the 50 period moving average, all right? Where is price in relation to that? It's below, so we're not gonna buy anything. We don't care if it's pulling back. We're gonna look for sell signal. Now, in the course, we teach you what to identify, what constitutes a strategy number four signal. So in order to check your work, simply, Click on strategy four, click on signal arrow, and guess what? You're right. This is where you thought a strategy four sell signal was. Now, where everyone else is thinking that's a pullback and you should be buying, you know that that's a valid sell signal. But you want to confirm it. You want to filter out the bad signals from the good ones, so you apply the PET D just to make sure to see it's a valid. And that bar, once we apply the PET D, should be colored red. Let's apply the PET D. Yes, it is. It's red. Now, you see here, well, this was a down day, but the pet D being so sensitive at the close of this down day, it still painted the bar green. So it was still saying that we're still okay. But on the next bar, the pet D kicked in and said, nope, now we're in a short term downtrend. So it coincided with the sell signal. And in three days, you could have captured 17 points. What happened to the pullback? What happened to the retracement? What happened to the Fibonacci levels? Okay. Remember, apply the 50 period moving average and then look for a, a strategy signal and then confirm it with the pet D. It's that simple. Here's another example here. Most traders, remember, the reason why we said most traders fail is because they don't know they're in a down market. Someone looking at this would say, Steve, this is a classic uptrend, higher highs, higher lows. What's the first thing we teach all our students around the world? Apply the 50 period moving average. Where is price in relation to that? It's below. So therefore you want to only identify sell signals. All right, strategy four, click it on. You think you see one here, so you just want to validate it. Click on signal arrows and you're right. Strategy sell was right here, okay? Now, we just wanna confirm it, and make sure it, we weed out if it's a bad signal or not. So we apply the pet D, the second part of the dynamic duo. And this needs to be colored red. If it's colored green, we're not going to take it. Yes, it is colored red. Now, remember, a lot of students have trouble. They say, but yeah, but Steve, the bar before was green. And there's some green here. All we're interested in is the color of the bar, either below or above the arrows. That's it. We don't care what they were before or after. Now, since it's red, it's a valid signal. But nothing much has happened for the last week. But ultimately, it did kick in. And you could have potentially captured 20 points, all right? You see the simplicity of the dynamic duo. This is why it's our most popular trading package to date. Okay, 
Now, let me share with you the consistency of this. Now, I know a lot of students say, well, Steve, consistency, that means you're guaranteeing us that there's going to be a lot of winners, right? No, remember, consistency and is awareness that you will have some losses from time to time. We're trying to weed them out with the pet D filter, but oftentimes it doesn't happen. But consistency is a two-step forward, one-step back approach, meaning that you will have some winners, and every once in a while, there'll be a one-step back with a loss. But hopefully, then you'll have two sets forward again with some more winners. This is what consistency means. All right, now here we see that price is closing above the 50. And even though we intersected this, remember, all that care, we care about is where the bar closed. So we have two buy signals. They're both above the 50. They're both valid strategy number four buy signals, all right? But we want to confirm them with the dynamic duo. So we apply the dynamic duo. And the first signal is outlined red. Remember, we need it to be green. So we would not have taken this first one. Now, the second signal is green. So we can take this trade. So you're all excited. You say, OK, there's my first trade. I bought uh, the dynamic duo. I'm so excited. Uh, I can't wait. I know I'm going to make a ton of money. And then this happens, right? Most likely, you got stopped out, all right? Once again, you want to refund. You're emailing me saying, Steve, you're uh, not a good teacher. You sell me stuff that doesn't work. Remember, it's about two steps forward, one step back. Now, in this trade, most likely, you would have lost, on average, about seven points, OK? We don't know how many shares you would have been trading or if you're trading options, but it would have been seven points. At this point, most traders, beginning traders, go into the corner and sulk. They're all mad. They want a refund. They're all upset. They say, this stuff doesn't work. We say, well, how long have you been trading it? Well, this is my very first trade. As a new trader, you have to believe in the consistency, because if you take time to just uh, sulk and you know have a pity party, you'll miss that there was a signal on the very next bar. Because what happened, even though the majority of these bars closed above, this bar closed below. It's a strategy for a sell signal, and it's colored red. So if you were sulking in the corner, you would have missed a valid sell signal on the very next bar, and you could have reversed and potentially made 12 points in the next week. Uh, you could have made back that seven that you lost and potentially made some more. So this is what we mean by consistency. We know that there will be losses from time to time, even when you apply the PET-D as a filter. But a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses sooner than later. Here's another example, KLIC. Okay. Now, this is a little bit more aggressive with more advanced traders because obviously we were below the 50. And then all of a sudden we have two bars that close above and then one right back down again. Okay, so it's a little bit more aggressive, more advanced. We know that most students are getting a little confused here, but it's still a valid strategy for a sell signal and it's still colored red by the pet D. So it's a valid dynamic duo sell signal. Had you taken it? Well, 35 points in three days to the downside. As you look at LRCX, this was just a couple of weeks ago. Now, once again, this is a little bit more advanced because most of the price bars were above, but we closed below on these two bars and they're valid sell signals and they are dynamic duo confirmed sell signals. So you could have taken either one and potentially captured 33 points coming into the first week of September. Here's an example in Microsoft. Now, I remember my mentors once telling me, you know, when I first started trading on the floor, I was in my 20s and I was like most young traders. It's like, you almost have a gambling mentality. You want action. You want every trader to be a winner. You want every trade uh, to, to be valid. But as you get older, you have to be more patient. That's what a professional gambler is. He doesn't just jump at everything. He confirms, he waits. And if it's not a confirmed signal, he doesn't take it. But he knows over time that that's what's going to sustain him. For example, this is a valid strategy number four buy signal. Now, most beginning traders would just jump in and say, yes, this is good. Look at it. It's come down. I'm buying at lower levels. It's valid. We're above the 50. I want to buy it. But remember, the dynamic duo is a high probability trading package because once you apply the pet D, we need to see that this bar right here above the green arrow is colored green. So what color is it? Well, not only are all the other colors red, we're concerned with this one. It's still an update that's outlined red. So we would not have taken that trade. Now, I know in my early days of trading, I would have just jumped and said, yes, this is a good trade. And now, knowing the power of the dynamic duo, you know, you just sit back and say, boy, some of the best trades are the ones you never take because they save you so much money.
Remember, it's all about longevity. It's not about hitting a home run. And the dynamic duo will really help sustain you. All right, here's another uh, example in charter, okay? Just to show you how this process works once again. Most traders do not know they're in a down market. Most traders looking at this chart would say, oh no, this is institutional support, Steve. I took that class. I have that $10,000 uh, program. And it says that this is major support. This is where all the big money is buying. So I'm not going to go against the big money. And look at, look at the, it's a triple bottom here. I got to be a buyer, right? What is the first thing you do? You listen to the market by applying the 50 period moving average. And what's it telling you? Even though the market may look as if it's just going sideways, it is in an overall downtrend. It wants to go lower. Therefore, the odds are in your favor if you only look to identify sell signals, not buy signals. Once again, most traders fail because they don't know they're in a down market. Now, we have roughly three valid strategy number four sell signals where everyone else is buying because they think the institutions are holding up that price. We're looking for sell signals. And then we add the pet D and they're all valid dynamic duo sell signals. Each one of the bars below these arrows is red. You could have taken any one of these signals and potentially captured 140 points in the next couple of weeks. Now, what happened to the major support? What happened to the institutions? I traded with the institutions on the floor and I would wouldn't touch an institution's order with a 10 foot pole because it was my experience. It had, it had some of the worst results out of any trader I'd ever seen. So I don't know why people rely on institutions to think that that's what they should be doing the same thing. So listen to the market to help you make your decisions, not an outside source. All right, now remember that opening uh, chart we shared with you, ILMN, all right? We said that there was a morning star pattern here. Now, candlestick traders are very bullish on this pattern, right? And then we apply the 50 period moving average and we see, well, you know what? The majority of these bars closed up above. We were closing a couple below, then back up above, then back below. So this is a more advanced way to trade. We're going to take each bar on an individual basis. Now, the first uh, bar did close above. So it's a valid strategy number four buy signal. And the second bar did just barely close below. So it's a valid strategy number four, sell signal. So which one should we be holding on to? Should we stop and reverse or should we just say, no, no, it's going to go higher. Just hold on. Just uh, you know, ignore the sell signal and hold on to the buy one or ignore the buy one and hold on to the sell one. This is how the pet D really comes into play. When you apply the dynamic duo, it filters out. So in order for us to take the buy, this bar has to be outlined or colored green. In order for us to take the sell, this bar has to be outlined or colored red. Let's see what the pet D said. Well, the sell signal is valid. It's been confirmed, but the buy signal is not. So the pet D filtered that out. And so we would not have gone long and only taken the sell signal. And that's how we could have potentially captured 150 points. And look at all the sell signals that were generated all the way down that were valid and filtered by the pet D. Now let's quickly look at some other uh, time frames and some other markets, okay? Just to share with you that this does work on other uh, time frames and markets as well. Here's an older chart of the QQQs, a weekly time frame. We had a sell signal here back in April on a weekly time frame. It was validated by the pet D. It filtered out and said, yes, this is a valid sell signal. Quickly fell 80 points coming into June and July, okay? That represented hundreds, if not thousands of points in the NASDAQ. How about a four hour chart of the British pound? Okay, same thing. A valid sell signal, colored red. The British pound fell in the next day 150 pips. That's roughly about $1,500 per unit that you potentially could have captured in the next three bars. And then lastly, looking at a daily chart of Bitcoin. Okay, works just as well on the cryptos. We have a buy signal that was generated here, but look at the color of the buy signal. It's outlined red. Therefore, you would not have gone long. Once again, most traders would have said, well, Steve, you know, Bitcoin's been going down. I've got to buy it. Well, how long are you going to hold on to that position and continue to lose money? Wouldn't it be better just to exit or at least sell? Potentially could have captured over 22,000 points or at least save yourself over 22,000 points if you were long. Okay, so let's recap. What did we teach you today? Strategy number four, it's a pattern recognition strategy, very high probability very consistent. But remember, 
Nothing works 100% of the time. This pattern appears over and over again in any market, in any time frame. But every once in a while, you will see faulty signals. So in order to increase our odds for consistency, we want a filter. That filter is the second edge. That's the pet D. The pet D is a color bar tool. It's a directional tool. It's so sensitive because it tells you what the market wants to do on a tick by tick basis. So where the uh, overall trend is determined by applying the 50 period moving average. The short term trend is determined by simply applying the color bar tool, the PET D. Therefore, there's no need to be looking at higher time frames or different patterns or different charts. Why overcomplicate things? Just have the PET D along with the 50 period moving average, and you have the overall and the short term trend in sync. You can tell right off the bat. Now, when you combine these two, the high probability pattern recognition strategy along with the PET D, you get what we call the dynamic duo, our most popular as well as powerful trading package to date, okay? Now we teach you in the course, <clears throat> excuse me, exactly what to look for. This is not a black box. You'll know what that pattern is after studying in the course. You know exactly how to identify a sell or a buy signal. You'll know exactly how to apply the PET D. And the simplest and most easiest way I can think of is by applying it on the PTS Primo charting platform. We developed a pro trading strategy in, my, in myself to make trading simple. So ask yourself, do you think these two edges can help your trading for the remainder of 2022? Now, we, no one knows if we're going to continue going lower. No one knows if we're going to turn around miraculously and go back up higher. The best thing about the dynamic duel is that it doesn't really matter. It just goes in sync with whatever the market wants. If the market all of a sudden turns around and goes into some sustained upward move, it will no longer be generating sell signals. It will now generate buy signals. It always puts itself in sync with the overall and the short-term trend. All right, so we have a great attendee discount for all of you taking time out of your Wednesday today. We're going to offer you our dynamic duo special. This is strategy number four, along with the pet D tool, you'll get instant, and I mean instant course access. You can actually be up and running uh, and po probably as early as today, uh, no later than tomorrow. You'll get detailed instruction. And remember, we're going to share with you all the different ways to enter, exit, and place your stop because no two traders should ever trade alike. Therefore, we have upwards of six or seven different entry points, six or seven different exits, and six or seven different stop placements for you to choose from. Because we know not everyone tries to trade aggressively. Some traders might just say, yes, I, I just want to get in. I'll buy at the market. Other traders say, you know what? I want to buy at a lower price. We'll show you how to do that. Other traders may want to squeeze as much uh, profit out of the trade. So we'll show you different exits for that. All right. Other traders like to get in and out quickly. They don't want to tie their money up. So we'll show them exits, how to trade that way. And lastly, some traders like to have a lot of risk. They don't care. They have a large account size. Other traders do not like risk. They, they cannot sleep at night with a lot of risk. So we share with them very uh, small risk stop placements, okay? This is how you make your decision on how to trade. And this is all taught in the course. Now, you'll also have access to the automatic buy and sell arrows, but mainly just to check your work. It's my goal as your educator to get you to the point where, where I am right now, where you can simply look at a chart and say, oh, there's a strategy number four buy signal. Oh, there's a strategy number four sell signal. I want you to be able to get to that point. You're also going to get the entire course rules to uh, not only strategy four, but four of the pet D trading techniques. These are techniques that are just based on the pet D alone. They're not, uh, they're different and separate from strategy number four dynamic duo. So you're going to get that as well. And this includes the add-on that will paint the, the bars green and red, okay? This is a great, great offer. Once again, you can have instant course access. You can be up and running as early as today. Now we share with you how easy it is to apply all of these things on the platform. So we'd like to give you 12 months of the platform and this is normally gonna cost you close to $1,800. We're gonna throw in a full year absolutely free. So you're gonna get a full 12 months free with this great offer. Now, included with the platform are a host of different techniques and methods and, and uh, tips that I've accumulated in my 45 years that you won't find anywhere else. So you're not just going to get the dynamic duo. You're going to get a lot of other tips and techniques, one-click access to all of them. Things like uh, the proprietary exit levels, strength of trend tool, uh, personalized tech support, over 90 of the most prominent technical indicators, and a signal scanner. Now, these two, in my opinion, are the most valuable proprietary exit levels 
and a signal scanner. Because this is just the exit levels are just one of the different methods we teach you on how to exit, and they're automatically uh, generated on the platform. And then you can scan for nightly uh, dynamic duo signals on a nightly basis. So this is just worth its weight in gold. Let me show you what I mean here. Here was a signal that you could have scanned for on the 29th, just about a little over a week ago. There was a cell signal in AMD, okay? Advanced uh, micro devices. Now, obviously it was above the 50, but look at where we closed. We closed just below. It meets all the requirements of the pattern and you could have scanned and seen, yeah, this is a valid cell signal. Now, in order for it to be a dynamic dual, uh, you would have wanted to add the PET D. And once you did, you would have seen, yes, this is a valid dynamic dual. So you could have sold this, maybe bought the puts and checked your work. Let's see, strategy number four and click on range extension access. Now, the reason why this is a specific exit technique that we teach you, but the main purpose of this is, is that it's automatically generated on the platform. You won't find this anywhere else except on the PTS Primo charting platform. So instead of clicking on signal arrows, you would click on range extension and it automatically generates these levels. Now, if you're the type of trader that likes to get in and out quickly, you would place a limit to exit right here. If you're the type that was more of a swing trader, you would exit here or here, or you would try to get the most uh, profits possible at level three. So let's say you chose level three, okay? Well, on the first, which was just last Thursday, less than a week ago, you could have exited with a 10 point gain in just three days. Not a bad little trade, right? And all you had to do was simply scan for this, apply these um, uh, range extensions, and it's that simple. Here's another example. You could have scanned for this buy signal in BIIB on the 18th, okay? Looks like a good signal. We're above the 50 period moving average. Price is becoming lower. You'll be able to buy at a lower price. But if we apply the PET D, a buy signal needs to be colored green. So we would not have taken this buy signal. And look what happens. This is what I mean when I say this is the safest way I know to trade a down market. You see, the PET D was filtering out this buy signal because it was signaling that most likely the market's going to go lower well before we knew. So this is the beauty of the dynamic duo. So let's break it down, okay? You're gonna get all three of these things all together. Strategy number four normally costs close to $700. The PET D alone, if you just purchased it alone, would cost you close to 5,000. And the PTS Primo charting platform, once again, for a full year is close to 1,800. So if you purchased all these separately, you're looking at, over $7,400, nearly $7,500, okay? Here's the great offer we have for you today. We're gonna to discount that down to a one-time payment of less than $500, all right? From nearly $7,500 down to a one-time payment of $497 and just with a monthly payment of $97, okay? That's it. Now, this includes the platform for a full year plus Strategy 4 and Pet D Dynamic Duo. And they're yours to keep forever. All right. Now, after a full year, you can decide whether you want to keep the platform or not. But most students after a full year with all the different techniques and methods available that you won't find anywhere else, but on the platform, decide to continue with the platform. OK, now let's just say you say, this is Stephen, listen, I don't want to uh, have a one time payment. I'm sold. I want to buy the whole thing out front. But we'll still discount it down to forty nine ninety five. OK, basically, you'll only be paying for the pet D. You'll get strategy number uh, four absolutely free, and you'll get a full year of the platform free, okay? So the, either way you look at it, this is a great, great offer. I personally would take advantage of that one-time payment of $497 and just a small monthly fee of $97 per month. Now, we showed you a ton of current examples, things that happened within the last month, things that happened within the last week. 2022 is nearly over. There are just four months left. You owe it to yourself to finish the last part of the year in the right direction. Most likely, you're nowhere near where you promised yourself you'd be at the beginning of the year in January, okay? You owe it to yourself to finish the last part strong, okay? The best way I know of is to get on board with a dynamic duo course. And this is a great, great discount to take advantage of that, okay? Okay, here's how to take advantage. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. I developed the platform with them. They're in charge of all the pricing and discounts are also in charge of tech support. I would highly suggest giving them a call at area code 310-598-6677. Uh, trading consultants can help you set up that payment plan. 
They can also answer your questions about uh, different strategies or tech support or data issues. Uh, if you're interested in more information, you can uh, click on this link here that will take you to the info as well as sign up page online. Now, uh, it's not a live link, but you can uh, go to the chat box and they have posted a live link right there, okay? So there's lots of ways to get more information, contact Pro Trader Strategies. I'm gonna leave this information up here while we still have a little bit of time left in today's presentation. If you do have a question, now is the time to ask. You can either go to the question and answer box or you can go to the chat box and I'll uh, see your questions there, okay? Uh, we have a question that says, when do you buy or sell after the dynamic duo signal? Do you wait for a confirmation on the following bar? Well, it's a good question. Remember, we have upwards of seven different entryways. So that is one way to do it. Uh, we call that our confirmation entry where you wait for price to trade above. Now in the beginning, for most beginning students, we advise them to trade that way to have a confirmation that it trades above that setup bar. But we have some more aggressive and advanced students that have been trading for years and they say, well, you know, Steve, I don't need that confirmation. I you know, have a big enough account. I like to buy it the way I like to. So that's fine. But in the beginning, we require that everyone use the most basic format, which is called the confirmation. We teach you that in the course. But ultimately, once you've gotten a lot of experience trading strategy number four, and you've been doing it for a while, you can enter using any one of our seven different entry techniques. Now, here's what I do. I'll, I'll share with you something. I don't like to do this usually because I know a lot of times when I tell students what I do, they think, well, that's what I've got to do. No, you've got to find your own way. But after looking at markets, different time frames, looking at uh, different scenarios, different market environments, Sometimes I will switch. I'll say, you know what? On this one, I know it's a fast market. I'm just going in at the market. Or other times it's slow, kind of a choppy market. I will set a limit at a lower price. And we teach you how to do that as well. It's not just random. It's not just discretionary. There is a specific formula how to do that. And then other times I'll use the confirmation method. So it's, there's no one right or wrong way. It's the, the right way is simply to follow what makes you feel the most comfortable. The wrong way is to blindly follow someone else in a chat room and do whatever they say to do, okay? That goes against our philosophy. We want you ultimately to make your own trading decisions, whether it's uh, the, the actual market, the time frame, or how you enter, you've got to do that on your own. Remember, two traders, can trade the exact same signal. And because of the different entry preferences, they can get different results. So it's entirely up to you, but uh, this is what you get through the, the practice of paper trading, okay? But that's a good question. Uh, any more questions? So, okay, that was a good one. Um, someone is saying, can we do this on uh, intraday? Yes, I showed you intraday, but you know what? I showed intraday, I believe it was on a currency pair. So yes, if you're an intraday trader that likes to trade stocks intraday, yes. I mean, we have tons of stock traders around the world in different indices uh, in different markets that actually do trade on an intraday basis, the dynamic duo. Nothing changes because you're going to a smaller time frame. okay? So don't feel as if, well, I've got to change the rules entirely because now I'm trading a five minute chart of Microsoft. No, it's the same process, all right? Any other questions? Uh, what if we're having problems? Well, if you're having problems, uh, you get what we call educational correspondence. Every one of my students will get my personal email address where you can contact me whenever you'd like, okay? I was answering emails today. I will be answering them after today's presentation. And uh, basically all my students and all my courses get my personal email address and all emails come directly to me. They don't go to an intern, they don't go to uh, an assistant or a, a trading representative at uh, Pro Trader Strategies. They come directly to me. So I answer all of your questions. And you can ask me as many questions as you like. There's no limit to that. I'll just, it depends on how busy I am. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, if there are no further questions, I just uh, you know hope you learned something not only about our philosophy of education but really about what it takes to trade in a down market. Remember, the reason why most traders falter in a down market is because they don't know they're in a down market. The 50 period moving average and the pet D can really help you get in sync. If they're in sync with an up market, they'll show you that. If they're in sync with a down market, they'll show you that as well. They will only generate sell signals in a down market, only generate buy signals in an up market. And even though they're high probability signals, they still need to be filtered 
And that's where the Petit comes in such valuable play with this. That's why we call it the dynamic duo. Two of our high probability methods combined together form this synergy for success. So take your trading to the next level. This is a great, great offer. Usually we have it discounted down to uh, two or three thousand dollars, but now we have it discounted in this special offer. Pro Trader Strategies, who who determine all the discounts and specials, has this one-time offer of four ninety-seven, a one-time payment, along with ninety-seven dollars per month. That's a great way to get on board and to close out strong, finish the year strong in twenty twenty-two. Okay, so. Give them a call, 310-598-6677. As we close and take one last look at our disclaimer, thank you so much for taking time out of your Wednesday. I know you have more important things that you could have done, but I appreciate listening to me speak. I wish you all the best of luck and look forward to seeing you all in the strategy number four course. Thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck of trading and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.